Now we're going to try a trick where I'm going to try and find a hidden object. I've got Catherine here to perform the trick with. Hi. Catherine, we're going to do a trick with the three cups and a chest knight. Now in a moment I'm going to ask you to place this chest knight under one of the cups and then just in case people think that I'm looking at the handles or that where I can see that that cup's moved, what I need you to do is just swap over the other two cups. So if you were to place it under this one, you will swap over those two. Get okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, excellent. So again, I'm going to close my eyes, place the cup on, place the chest piece under one of the cups, and swap the other two cups over. Have you done that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to try and work out which one it is. I'm thinking that you're likely to try and do something to make me. I think you would place it under the middle cup. The middle cup? Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Okay, that could have been a fluke. I could have just guessed it. Try it again. One more time. I'm going to close my eyes. Place it under one of the cups and move the other two around. Okay. Have you done that? Okay, and I'm thinking this time you would suspect me to edge towards you in regards to this trick, but you're wrong because you placed it under this cup. Would you like to know how this trick is done? Yes, yes, I would. Wonderful. Okay, there's um, any three cups will do. In this case, we've got three mugs. And what you're going to do is when you get three cups, someone like, you want the three cups to be the same, really just so it doesn't, people don't think the idea, you know, that's how you're doing it. And you're looking for some kind of mark or indentation on the cup. And in the case of this one, you can see a little chip. And that tells me that this is going to be my secret cup. So when I turned around, I was looking for this mark. But for the sake of the camera, what we'll do is we'll get a sharpie and we'll put a big X on the cup, like so. That means you'll be able to know that that's my cup with a secret mark on. There are lots of cups to choose from. In my workshops, I teach it with these polystyrene cups and they look the same, but what you could do is you could either take your fingernail and just dent it a bit, and that, um, that's my secret mark. But even better is that polystyrene cups come with a little number on the bottom. I have no idea why. This one says 258, this one says 460, that one says 188. So basically, if I can look at that number, that's my mark. Okay. But we'll use these cups for visibility. Now, it's all about basic um, process of logic. If you take this knife, it could be anything, any piece, by the way, you could have a, a keys or a small ball. If you were to place it under one of the cups, and swap the other two cups around. Now, as soon as I turn back, I'm looking for that mark. Now, because that mark is exactly where it was, I know the piece is under that cup, mm -hmm. okay? And that's pretty straightforward. Now, if you were to place it under one of the other two pieces, or the other two cups, and swap the other two cups around. Now, I turn back around and I see that my mark has moved from here to here. That means I know these two cups have changed places so by process of elimination, I know the piece is under here. The same would go for this if you do it the other way. And you move the other two cups. Those two have moved places, so I know the piece is under this cup. Now let's just say the mark cup was on the end here. Uh, again, place it under a cup, any piece you wish. Any, that, the middle one? Yep. And swap the other two cups around. Now remember, the mark cup was there. It's now here, which means those are the two cups that changed, so I know from elimination that it's the middle cup. One more time, if you were to place it under that one, yep, and swap the other two cups over. And I know because the mark cup is exactly where I left it, that it's going to be under there. So let's give this a go with you. The mark's going to be nice and obvious, so it should be nice and easy to see. <laughs> So, uh, turn away, close yeah. your eyes, okay. and then place that chest piece under a mug and swap the other two pieces over. Hopefully, okay. now you can turn back around and if you realise what cups have moved. And we'll find the chest piece under the middle cup. Excellent. And just to prove that this trick works, we're not going to be able to rub out that sharpie anytime soon, but we have got three pots that are in cups here. Have a look at the cups, don't let me know which one is your secret mark. It could be a number, it could be an invitation, but you've got an idea of one of those cups as your mark, yeah? Yeah. Turn away. I'm going to place it under one of the cups and swap the other two pieces over and turn back and tell me where it is. It is here. Correct.
<laughs> thank you for playing the game, Catherine. I hope you enjoy it. It's a great trick and you're able to find any hidden objects. It's fun. <laughs>